Hi again then guys and welcome to another special projects replica build and in this particular build we are building a pretty popular high performance exotic a car which can actually be replicated pretty well using the existing vehicle that we have to work with and the car is based on or more specifically is a version of one of my personal favorite cars the Celine S7 a car which is directly inspired by some of the most iconic motorsports and supercars of history. It has that long tail design which really harkens back and acts as an homage to the old school Group C and GT1 machines and delivers performance which essentially makes the Salina 7 America's equivalent of, say, the McLaren F1, for instance, a street vehicle with true competition ability. Now this particular version that we're replicating is the twin turbo version, probably the most popular and perhaps the best known model of the range. My personal favourite version is actually the normal 550 horsepower model, but I can understand why people would like this one. Now as far as the visuals, we've painted it red, of course. It is a production car though, so there's a variety of colours that it's available in, so you can paint it literally whatever colour you want, it really doesn't matter. If, though, you want the particular red that I'm using on this one, then I've actually gone for a colour of red called Mark IV Red, which is actually very expensive. This particular red costs 20 million credits, because it comes from the Ford Mark IV GT40. So, if you want that particular red, it's going to cost you. There are plenty of other reds, though. I just like this particular one. It has a slightly duller, more unfinished look, which suits the car. Now as far as the rims, as you can see we've got chrome rims on this particular build. You can of course leave the standard rims on there, which are also 7 spoke, but I've opted to upgrade them to the 7 spoke aftermarket rims. They're pretty much the only one of their type, so you don't really have to look for them very far. And then I've painted those chrome. There are of course a number of ways to get chrome on the game, so I'll leave that down to you guys. I can't really direct you to a specific car for that, you just have to win it. So you don't have to do chrome rims, you don't have to do red paint, it's purely optional. So we'll go straight over to the mechanical tuning garage, of course, for the setup of the twin turbo, and then take it out, of course, to a racetrack to see just what this thing is capable of. Now, as far as the overall setup on this particular model, this is, of course, primarily a fun tune it's designed just to be for the sake of driving the car what it would feel like if this version were on the game rather than a competition spec machine so the pp doesn't really matter as much on this one and in the case of a car like this it's really more important to get the right power weight etc than it is to necessarily get the correct pp now i've gone for sports soft tires because it is of course more of a street based vehicle and it also makes it a little bit more challenging which is fun We've left the brakes stock, now you may want to upgrade those if you do plan on running quick lap times with it, because you definitely need to brake a lot earlier than you usually would, because this car builds up speed so quickly that you actually end up going a lot faster than you think you are. As far as suspension, we've got the ride height on 100, front and rear springs on 10, the dampers and anti-roll all on 3, We've got neutral camber, perhaps surprisingly, and tow. We'll come back to the gearbox in just a second, as usual. Now, as far as the diff, I've opted to make the steering of this car very, very stiff under acceleration. Now, some people may find it too stiff. You may want it to be a little bit more tail-happy. In lower speed corners, it is still tail-happy, whereas at high speeds, it's less so. So, I've got the highest initial torque, lowest acceleration of course and lowest braking so if you do feel that that's perhaps a little bit too heavy on the steering you can increase these two or lower down your initial torque a little to say 50 or 40 or less as to whatever suits you now the actual car has 750 horsepower in twin turbo form you want an oil change stage 3 engine tune and then reduce the power down to 89.4% if, of course, you do want the PP to be higher, but still at 750 horsepower, you could also fit the supercharger. 
but as it's a twin turbo it didn't really seem that appropriate to do so. As far as the weight, the actual car weighs 1338 kilos from the specs that I could find, so we've gone for stage 2 weight reduction, the carbon bonnet, because it's not a carbon bonnet on this car anyway, because it's body coloured, we've added 181 kilos of ballast, we put that 80 or 18 even percent towards the back of the car to give us a 4951 split and as far as that gearbox you do need to do a gearbox flip on this particular model to reach the real car's gears so you want to take your auto setting to 230 then take your final drive to 4.3 then come back to your auto setting click it up and down a peg back to 230 then that will allow you to hit these individual gears of 286, 161, 114, 96, 81 and 64 and then you want to put your final drive down to 3.7 and that is the exact gearbox of the real Selena 7 twin turbo and incidentally and this is actually really cool I think and for once it actually means that Gran Turismo is actually realistic in terms of top end performance but this car has the actual top speed, a fraction more, but roughly the same top speed as the real life version. It does around 248 miles per hour, just like the real car. I personally think that that's pretty awesome. So, overall, that's it for the mechanical setup. Now let's take it out to a racetrack to see how it handles itself. Now, as I mentioned, of course, the steering on this particular model is designed more for fun and to be maybe a little bit of a challenge rather than a pure track day special, lap setter or race winner. It can win races on the right track. It certainly has huge performance, but this is more of a fun tune, just something to bring out when you fancy driving an interpretation of the Selena 7 Twin Turbo. It doesn't have the Twin Turbo, unfortunately, but it does have the power and performance of one. So, if you do decide to use this replica of the Twin Turbo Selena 7, obviously I hope you find it fun, maybe even competitive in racing, even though it's not designed for that. But overall, if you do want to keep up with other replica builds like this in the future, be sure to slap subscribe down below to see those as soon as they're released. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.